watch this guy actually like pulling an act on us and he's actually the guy making them uh fire assistant it'll be kind of funny it's probably not gonna happen though i mean yeah deadpool deadpool kind of is like that what i just said but yeah <laughs> good day my baron those traps in the woods are they yours i doubt i can tell you anything of interest question about the traps okay <laughs> he doesn't want to talk to me do you have anything for sale certainly Let's see what he has oh boy oh boy i already see some some good stuff here an intelligence head but i have that already yeah i do uh okay a small bag of holding. I should probably get this. Yeah, let's get it. So we can carry more stuff. Without being too encumbered. And sell this stuff. That. Need that. Let's keep let's keep the shield. I might give that to um to Harim. And I'm going to need him very soon anyway, so. Yeah, I can give him this too. Now this this thing is actually I don't know. I don't think there's actually going to be a monk in the game who would use this. Then again, I don't know. Yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna sell it. I'm I'm gonna sell it. I don't care. Sell this stuff. Need it. Cure serious wounds. Oh wow. I'm gonna keep that. <laughs> uh we're gonna use that. Already have that. Already have that. I guess I can keep one scroll fireball so my bot can use it. Mage armor, magic missile. Already have a one for that. That stuff. That stuff. I hate this one. <laughs> Wait, why are these not? There we go. Resist Sonic. Resist Sonic. Scroll of Restoration Lesser. I should probably keep that. I'm pretty sure there will be. Coming up some battles where they are going to rob me of my levels. Scorching Ray. Um, I don't need that. She already has that in her book. Yeah. Bit of this. Bit of this. Alright. <laughs> I'm gonna keep the, the Acid Arrow Wand. Just so people who are not her can actually kill trolls. Like, imagine, imagine if she dies in, in a battle against trolls i wouldn't have anyone who can kill the troll i guess yeah let's keep that for sure these stupid books letter Sell all that stuff. Don't need it. Is this fine hide? Sell all that. This is all. Oh no, gold powder. Okay, sell that. The hydra, a cooking ingredient? What? <laughs> 
What the hell can I cook with that? Dehydra, eh? Yeah, I bet it tastes really good. <laughs> can sell that. Don't need it anymore. Sell that. Oh my god. Yeah, even even though I uh, bought the, the small bag of holding, I'm actually gaining money from him. How much stuff I'm selling. This is all stuff I need to give to the storyteller. I think we are now. Done. What kind of meat is that? Vivern meat. Okay. Is there anything else I want to buy? I mean, a ring of protection plus two is good, but eh, it's not worth the money, I think. Dexterity is great. I could get one of those for... Yeah, for both of them, actually. But then it's not too important. Like, they don't... They don't really do that much damage anyway. What is that? That's shitty. That's to dodge bonus to AC. But only against uh, attacks of, of giants. They're shitty. Yeah. I'm good. I'm good. Get out of here. <laughs> he still didn't free him, by the way. In due time. I guess he he won't do it. <laughs> so basically, Valerie is now. Wait a second. I am yours to command. You seem to be an educated man. What are you doing in these woods? I'm simply a humble servant of my baron. <laughs> yeah, he hates me. <laughs> he hates me now. Fucking destroyed his dream. Feels good. Like, it, it's gonna, like, even if I was okay with uh, him torturing this troll, like, in all seriousness, what he does is, it's kind of dumb anyway, like, I don't want him to, to do experiments, like, like, what is next? After this stuff with the, with the troll, he would need to experiment on humans, you know, if he wants to, to give the troll regenerative abilities to a human, and so, yeah, I don't know. Seems seems bad to me. I don't like it too much. Ooh. Yeah, I'm probably gonna stop once I reach the capital for today. Seven hours and twenty minutes of streaming. I think that's a record. <laughs> to me at least. One guys, hurry up. All according to plan. Yeah, we spent a lot of time in the wilderness, by the way. What the hell is my wolf doing? <laughs> what the heck? Yeah, I, I want to make sure that everything is fine with my my kingdom. Because I've been out here for like, I don't know, a week at least, I think. Yeah. Yeah, this, this was great. We basically went all around this area. Discovering a lot of stuff. So next time we can actually go and, like, do all of these quests, you know? Like, we can go to the ruined watchtower and do Harim's quest. 
we can go to uh, the Hodek layer and do uh, Amari's quest. We can go to the to the Virgin Chambers by ourselves and see what this this nymph is gonna do with me. I need to catch my breath. Look at that, Ford. Well, I have to check that out. It's on the way. <laughs> I cannot stop once I discover something along the way. Not possible. I need to catch my breath. Let's see. Oh my god, it's actually a pretty big area. Right, let's see what's I'm not afraid. Cobalts? Oh no. Kill all the cobalts. Sounds like I can actually use this crowbar somewhere. Maybe to break open a uh, door? I don't know. Rope. Duh. Sounded like a good read. <laughs> All according to plan. So basically, it was a it was a gnome camp, but they got overwhelmed by these cobalts. I'm sorry, boys. Attention. I did not arrive in time. A sigh. Who the hell uses sighs? <laughs> like seriously, is there like is there like a person in this world who actually starts one of these games and is like, oh yeah. I want to be wielding a sigh. What? In due time. <laughs> like I can, I can kind of imagine people that like played through this game once that is not far. and found maybe a really good sigh. They're like, oh yeah, this might be a cool, cool idea for a new build. As it should be. Prepare. But yeah, I, I wonder. Like, I wonder if there's actually anyone who's just like, oh yeah. It's my kind of thing. The Sai. I want to be a fucking uh, role playing ninja. I don't know. Be generous to them, for I am not. I need to catch mushrooms. In due time. Here? Nope. I believe I found oh. something. Huh. Sounds like sounds like more kingdom missions. Oh my god, what? Oh never mind. Let's go and help them. This should do it. We're going to save you, my friends. Awesome. <laughs> No, oh. No way. Dude, it's fucking Tatuchio. He has returned and he's once again 
uh, disguised as one of these fucking kobolds. So, the gnome invites some of his friends. Stupid, slow, sluggish gnome. No, stupid. <laughs> Kobolds want this card. Kobolds shall have it. By orders of myself, the glorious King Tartuk. Well, yep. Tartuk King. Uh, this bastard was the one talking our ears off while the rest of them were trying to steal our, our card. Huh. King Tartuk. What do you say to a bit of, uh, regicide? <laughs> Let's do it, yeah. Tartuchu, I recognized you. What is this new disguise and why are you not dead? How dare you speak like that to King Kobold's attack? <laughs> Shared us, shared us. He buffed them. Shit. <laughs> Blood for Gorum! You forced my hand. A calculated risk. Yeah. Ah! Onward! Let's actually use Rage, why not? <laughs> See you soon enough, this is not over. <laughs> this fucking guy has returned, oh no. I did not expect him, like, to be here. That was a big surprise, like, I totally expected him to be in, like, uh... Some kind of story mission. But this was just like something random, right? All this gold. I forgot to take something here. Do that. Nice. All according to plan. So, what are you guys doing? By the way, since they are gnomes, they're actually they're actually riding ponies instead of real horses. <laughs> it's kind of funny. Can I help you guys somehow? Oh! I can actually use the crowbar for this. <laughs> While the gnomes were busy fighting the kobolds, furiously cursing and diligently punching their unwelcome guest right in the in their tragonish tra snouts, the card was all but forgotten. The unwitting cause of the fight it was being tracked away by the scared ponies when it slid down the fort, sinking all the way up to the coachman's seat in the river. This is where the Skunk River flows into the Tusk Quarter, and the current becomes excessively spiteful, cold, stubborn, and turbulent. Having taken hold of the gnome's card, the Skunk River must have decided to drag it down amid all the commotion, but it was caught in the act. The surviving gnomes, led by the head of the gnome expedition, an extremely loud and crabby fellow, but not without some uh, managerial talent, were able to catch the card before it floated away. Faces red and grunting from the strain, they struggled to keep it from drowning entirely. Just then, a package fell into the water. With a heartbreaking splash, it vanished beneath the current, only to resurface 10 meters down the river. No! The head of the gnome expedition moaned as he glowered at the package. That was Alchemy and Life, the latest issue. <laughs> After plunging into the cold river, the ponies immediately lost their nerve. Swiveling their ears and twitching, they tried to chew through their reins and throw off the, the load. Why are you just standing around? Go on, help them. The head of the gnome expedition was visibly dissatisfied, dissatisfied as he shouted. Hmm. Well. First of all, let's use the crowbar. Put it under the cart's wheel.
Set under the wheel, the crowbar wedged into position against the stones on the riverbed, making the process of pulling the cart out of the river easier. We tied a rope to the cart. One, two, three, and the rope was securely tied to the cart, making it easier to pull out. A good lesson for every adventurer, never leave home without a rope. <laughs> rope is your best friend. Okay, um... Wait, why would I do this? One of us tried to jump onto the cart to untie the ponies still standing in the water. I mean, I guess that would save the ponies, maybe? So are, are, these, are these added together? Or is it only choosing the, the highest one? I don't know. Let's use myself. Oh, okay. I succeeded both, really. Oh my god, I, I rolled a 17, dude. <laughs> wow, okay. Duriel nimbly climbed onto the roof of the cart and carefully crawled towards the ponies hitched up at the riverbank. Ponies seemed to be relieved to feel a firm hand holding the reins again. They calmed down, the calmed down at once, another typo, <laughs> and allowed themselves to be unhitched. In just a few moments, they were standing back at the fort, ready to pull the cart from the river. Gathering our strength, we began pulling the cart from the river. If you are certain you are ready, then let's do it. But be careful, imagine the cart's full of gold or ale or some other thing you couldn't bear to lose. Valerie frowned. Better you should trust in our dignity than our creed, sir, gnome. <laughs> the gnome rolls his eyes. For God's sake, whatever. Just pull the cart. We tried to pull the cart out. Oh, shit. <laughs> okay, um... Let's see here. The cart creaked and cracked, sounding as though it were sobbing. Uh, the boards strained against the combined stress of the rushing waters pulled against everyone trying to pull the cart ashore. Unfortunately for the cart, both sides were of equal strength. Something had to be done, or the poor cart would be torn to pieces. All right. The exhausted ponies had to work themselves up into a ladder, and foam covered the bits in their teeth. The Baron tried to calm and reassure them succeeded <laughs> okay after everyone struggled together for a while the cut finally made it out of the muddy riverbed and rolled back onto the rocky ground of the wading ford prompting some seemingly indignant sloshes and squelches at the, as the river released its trophy and rushed along in search of easier prey Losing no time, the head of the gnome expedition jumped inside for a good while, rattling and swearing were all that could be heard from the cart, until the gnome's face finally re reappeared from under the rooftop, seemingly satisfied. Almost everything is still in place, he announced cheerfully, jumping from the cart. It's all wet and crumpled, but at least nothing's missing. Thank you, travelers. If not for your help, guided by my keen supervision, of course, <laughs> I would have had to say goodbye to all my possessions. Look at them. <laughs> it's actually high five. <laughs> high five, yeah. Cool. Talk to Jubilost. Okay. I need to catch my breath. Pretty cool. Jubilos Nartropel, at your grace's service. Your help with these kobolds and my almost drowned cart was timely indeed. 
sure was. By the way, it's a shame no one organized a greeting party when such a famous and popular person as myself arrived to your capital. <laughs> I wasn't expecting a red carpet covered with rose petals, but you could at least have sent ahead some delegation. Not least some of my servants are still alive. Do you know how much it costs to train a proper servant? Sounds like your servants are nothing but tools to you. Truly, with masters like that, being a servant is not much of an improvement over being a slave. What's this then? Huh. Run along, little girl. The grown-ups are talking. <laughs> wow, dude, what an so, asshole. You're not only arrogant, but a boorish swine as well. Why am I not surprised at all? <laughs> <clears throat> Also, while I'm on that, I'd like to make an official announcement. The roads in your barony are in terrible condition. People must search for wading fords to cross the rivers because no one had bothered themselves with building bridges, and honest travelers have to take the risk of being attacked by kobolds at any moment. So, how did you say your barony was called? Ah, whatever, never mind. When I draw the map of these lands, I will call them Maybe Local Baron Will Help. Wow. I guess it's a fitting name. Dude, I just... I just saved your fucking asses and your whole carriage. Oh. You think too highly of yourself, Sir Gnome. Behave with some dignity while you're on these lands. Oh, I see. The very spirit of knighthood embodied. So, what do you propose me to do, Sir Knight? Should I lie? By no means. But you shall not be so blunt. I bid you to express your opinion in a more courteous form. Your problem, Sir Knight, is that you worry too much about form and appearance. Unsurprisingly so, considering your pretty face. As for me, I worry solely about the content. Oh. <laughs> well. Uh, how do you know I am a baron? I've already told you I visited your capital some time ago. Weren't you listening to me? And I'm used to being greeted by officials when I arrive to settlements of at least some importance. The glory of myself and my exploits usually precedes me. And officials usually prefer to be on good terms with me. I didn't know you'd come. Yes, you're right. I should have remembered that your lands are in the middle of nowhere. And you don't get updates on important things in time. Uh, let's, let's not, you know, let's, let's try to stay as nice as possible. Um, so what happened here? How did your cart end up in the river? My party and I set up camp at the bank of this river. We'd just finished kindling the fire when that purple bastard appeared. You know what he told me? He introduced himself as the king of the kobolds and told me he needed our clothes because he wanted to dress his subjects properly, you see. What as the long fuck? as they've established the kingdom of their own. That's literally what he said. I wonder where did he learn the words? Obviously, I told him to buzz off. Some kobold wants to strut around wearing the clothes of the great cartographer Jubilos Nartropple. Oh, no way. So I've been explaining my position to him, being rather eloquent too, suggesting he and his so-called kingdom might as well fall into the deepest sinkhole. <laughs> In the meantime, I've noticed that kobolds have already started to untie my cart. Well, I called my men to keep the cart safe. They couldn't guess what to do on their own, just stood there with their mouths ajar. Then things heated up as the fighting started, and while we were fighting, the ponies dragged the cart to the river. Ah, stupid Oh, animal. boy. So, you said you were famous, but I don't know you. What are you famous for? Well, he already said it. He's a cartographer. That was either a stupid and offensive joke, or a case of total ignorance. The latter, I hope. I'm famous as a traveler, a cartographer, an alchemist, and a journalist. The students of all the major universities study the world using my maps. My articles for different journals are well known everywhere from Andorran to Brevoy. You've definitely read some issues of National Alchemy, haven't you? Culinary Almanac of the Inner Sea? Or the most scandalous one, The Independence, describing benefits and drawbacks of governments and regimes in different states? Didn't read any of these. Oh, well, don't answer that. I don't want to spoil my impression of your barony. It's spoiled enough already. It would be hard for me to write at least something positive otherwise. Wait, the Jubilas Narthropple? Oh, she knows him. the 14 and a half eulogies to Pitax? Oh my, every student in the Academy of Grand Arts devoured your books, especially after King Aravetti banned them, tried you in absentia, and sentenced you to death. What the fuck? <laughs> Hmm, hmm, I see at least someone in this shabby barony has at least a rudimentary education. Even if they got them in such a dubious establishment as the Pitax Academy of Grand Arts. 
<laughs> I was expelled for irreverence. Ah, is this so? Well, if it is true, then you just might not be beyond hope. <laughs> so what is such a famous person doing that far from civilization? I pursue two objectives. The first is to write an article on this new barony of yours for the independence. The second is to draw a detailed map of the stolen lands. Before this barony appeared, it had been too dangerous to come here. But now an opportunity has appeared. Thanks to you, I must add. So, as you can see, the freedom of speech sometimes grants positive comments too. Anyway, I'm almost done with this journey. My article is practically ready, so is the map. All that's left to do now is to find an old dwarven oh. outpost established here several centuries ago. What is this dwarven outpost you're searching for? Your ignorance is stunning. You create a barony and still you know nothing about the lands you own. I'll have to enlighten you on the subject. You see, long ago there was a dwarven trade route crossing these lands. It connected Five Kings Mountains and the North. The route was so important to the dwarves that they were generous enough to set a number of outposts along it, manned with armed guardians to provide protection for the traders. One of these outposts must be somewhere nearby, lost and completely forsaken, but nothing can avoid the watchful eye of the great cartographer Jubilos Nartropol. I will find this outpost and I will mark its location on the map. <laughs> you can trust me on that. Oh. I see. Okay. So it's probably the troll's lair. Okay, what do we say here? This is just asking if uh, if it's possible and this would be, you know. Okay, let's let's say this. I'm looking for the troll's lair. Maybe we are looking for the same place. Let's join our efforts and start looking together. Well, you prove to be a capable companion in a case of emergency. I guess I can entrust you with covering my back. Let's go. I will send someone for my cart later. He actually is a companion? Oh my god, what? <laughs> I did not expect that. I didn't. Wow. Um. That is a surprise. I didn't think he would actually join me. <laughs> cool. Let's see if there's anything over here. So he's an alchemist, huh? That's interesting. Enemy approaching. Left yourself open. Stay behind me. Follow my lead. It looks like a ring of protection again. Oh look, it's kobolds that are actually fighting wolves. Good for me. <laughs> that is not far. Interesting. Uh, hello? <laughs> Open it.
I have a lot of new stuff to give to the um, the storyteller as well. So wait, if, if that guy joined me, then wouldn't I be able to use him as a as an advisor as well? Maybe he's able to lead the treasury stuff. Yeah, oh my god. <laughs> See, they actually wanted me to, to go this way. Right from the start. Like, they wanted me to go out here and just go there. And I would have encountered this, this person, um... As soon as I went there. But I didn't do that. <laughs> Instead I went all the other way. Like, I went the whole way around here. And basically, yeah. Came here at the very last. <laughs> what is that? I kind of want to see what that is as well. I also wonder if this is actually... Is this a troll's lair then? Maybe it is. Let's see. Locate the ancient outpost. A long lost dwarven outpost that trolls may have taken up residence in. Yeah. Sounds like it, right? Yep. Yeah, that must be it. Right here. I want to see what this is as well. This cannot be something big. It's probably a small area, so let's just do it. Yeah, it's kind of smallish. Where are these guys? Corax. Let them go, you swamp freak. If you don't, I'll burn this rotten growth to the ground on my word. You are the freaks, and my name is Melianzi. Melianz? Melianz. I don't know. Thank you very much. If you keep being rude like this, I'll just throw on these jumbos in the lake, understand? You there, you seem a capable sword, interested in some coin. Name is Corex, and we are loggers here in the forest. We could use your help in freeing our boys from this Gorgon's Claw. Uh, what's going on here? We were minding our own businesses, cutting trees and splitting logs. When this hack shows up out of nowhere, screeches at us, then chinks is two of our lads and threatens to drown them. With these fey breeding like rabbits everywhere, what's an honest, hardworking man to do? Super Jumbo, you're the ones who breed like rabbits, spreading into more and more space we've lived here since forever. I've grown these trees for more than a hundred years. Know them, know them down to the tiniest leaf and then you show up with your stupid axes to ruin everything. Shit. Let's try to reason with the loggers, I guess. Should I try to reason with them or should I... Huh. I mean, she is kind of right as well, you know, like they just came here and... Like, no one, no one is really at fault here, that's the problem. <laughs> Let's try to reason with them. Listen to me, guys. Okay, let's see what we can do here. Um, Should 
shit. They're all pretty tough. Let's try that, I guess. The forest is big. I'm sure you can find other trees to fell. Worked. Alright, alright. It's not like we were dead set on this grove in the first place. If she gives us back our lads, we'll leave the place in peace, on my word. Malians, they will leave uh, they will leave this place and never return. Please release the hostages now. Oh sure, and who's going to bring back my trees then? They come in here, smash everything inside and just then just leave? No deal. Fix what you broke, then maybe I'll let them go. Hmm. How are we supposed to restore a tree that's already been cut down? You humans are always like this. Destroy, 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 and then what? when it's time to clean up your mess, poof, gone. Fine then, since you are clearly clueless, I'll tell you what to do. There are these magic thingies that look like little feathers. The feather tokens. Throw one on the ground anywhere and the tree springs up. What the fuck? Your people's mages who treat the swarms more often than the others, they can make them. Buying a couple won't break your bank. My cousin Teresia can also make them. She lives in the Nile marshes. Either way, you bring a handful of them back here, I'll let your goods go. Hmm. Hmm. Wait here, I'll bring you feathers. Well, shit. <laughs> Where do I get these feather tokens? We can buy them from mages living around the swarms, or ask the triad Teresia, who lives in the Nile marshes, to give us some. Okay. It's interesting. What I can also do is I need to catch my breath. I wrote it like I saw it. Play the song. Talk to her again. Oh. Oh. Okay, now they don't give me the options anymore. Anything is possible. Like the options of, of doing it with like a skill. Skill check. Damn. I guess I should have tried to do that first. Oh, hello. <laughs> hello, wolves. Interesting. Cannot leave here? No, oh, I can't. What the fuck? All according to plan. What the hell? They just left the map. <laughs> um Resting would be nice, don't you think? In due time. Yeah, we are going to rest in due time. Not now. So I guess I can buy them from the from the mage in the forest that I just met. But I can also get this get them from this um from this other other fake creature. I wonder where she is though. I don't think I met her. Yeah. Well, okay, let's actually go back to the kingdom. The capital. We should gather our strength. Not yet. What the? Oh my god. <laughs> Are you kidding me? Because I was missing this one piece here. Ah. <sighs> Okay, yeah, let's actually check out what's going on with my kingdom before we stop here. Uh, 
Events. Yeah, I know about events. <laughs> Okay. So. Success. The military parade made the locals proud. How strong the barony has become over the past few months. A flood of volunteers have joined the army. Ooh, cool. Very nice. Troublemakers. Success. The people didn't want to fight, only to know that their voices were heard in the capital. The, investi uh, the instigators disappeared as quickly as they emerged, once the local, once the local's faith in their ruler was restored. Counselor waits in the throne room. Okay. But oh, it's already the, the the soft stuff already. Okay. This one is still not done yet. It ends in two days though. So I should I should just spend two days, I think, right here. What is this? Trade taxes? Some half elf trading fabric in the capital discovered a loophole in the law, which made it possible to avoid paying most taxes. The news spread quickly through the merchant's guild. Measures should be taken immediately or the treasury will take a loss. Oh fuck. But he can't do it yet. Trouble lands. Let's do that. Patrol sightings. Shit. You can do that too. That's a problem. Okay, so I should... Yeah, I should do that first. Do that first. Do it right now. The visitor waits in the castle. Okay. Two visitors in the castle, actually. <laughs> Shit. So I have one new advisor. Yes, I knew it. Okay, cool. So we actually got a treasure on now. That is very good. Yep, let him do it. <laughs> Look at his description. <laughs> Jimmy Lost aims to cut expenses and spend diligently. And he's sure to let everyone know it too. It's <laughs> cool. Okay. So basically the only trouble lands is left. And Tristian should re be, be, be done in two days. So then I can do it. Yep. Cannot do that yet. Okay. Build the new settlement. we go. Nothing is built yet. Well, I don't really have a lot of BP anyway, though, so <laughs> there's not a, not a lot I can do. Okay, though, let's go into the capital. That's not what I wanted. <laughs> Fuck, I did it again. Uh, I did it again.
All right, let's get into the throne room and to manage our kingdom. May we have a moment to respite? Who's this? <laughs> I don't know this guy. Huh. Ah, the ruler of this barony. I'm flattered by your attention. Sir Stefano Mosconi of Pitax, at your service. Oh no. Ah, <sighs> well. What brings a Pitaxian noble to my barony? I was just traveling back home to Glorious Pitax after paying a visit to Restov. All in service to King Castruccio Irovetti. I thought I might take a day to visit the capital of Pitax's bold new neighbor. I must say I really should have spared myself the trouble. It's hardly worth seeing. Well, then get the fuck out of here. <laughs> Dude, some of these answers are great. A five-year-old could tell you are deliberately trying to offend me, Sir Stefano. Perhaps you could just tell us directly what it is you came here for. <laughs> I'm always open to criticism, as long as it's fair and reasonable. Well then, I'll gladly give you my report. Follow along on your fingers, assuming you can count. 1. Your army is weak. You lack the guards to properly defend your lands. So you must choose between the villages, the towns and the trade routes. 2. Your economy is, a sh is in shambles. Is a shambles? Okay. You have to personally resolve an issue of tax collection from some lowly inn. And it seems your treasury even depends upon this handful of coins. And 3. Your culture is, well, non-existent really. What do you even have? No art galleries, no universities. Your capital may as well be a cow shed with you a donkey sitting atop a heap of hay. Wow. <laughs> Perhaps there's a touch of truth to your words, but my barony is still very young. Everything will be different soon. If anything ever changes here, it'll be the number of dung flies, <laughs> and that will only it only grow. Ah oh, well, I shan't continue this slaughter. No use battling someone who can't even fight back. All the best. Well, what an idiot! <laughs> what an idiot! Event outcomes and consequences. Every event can resolve in one of the four ways: disaster. Uh, failure, success, or triumph. The outcome may affect the barony's stats. There are two types of events, problems and opportunities. If a problem event ends with a failure, it decreases your stats. If it ends with a success, it has no effect. Succeeding at an opportunity event will increase your stats, and it normally will not affect them if the outcome is a failure. Each success or triumph, triumph increases the stats the designated advisor is responsible for by three. Your grace, we are victorious. We fought off the spider invasion and defeated the strange dryad who led them. As a sign of gratitude, your subjects have a special reward for you. Wow, a lot of gold coins. <laughs> I wonder, was this flood of spiders truly caused by that curse? I mean, the curse must be ancient and very ominous. Spiders were definitely scary as well, but they weren't ancient and ominous. I agree with Lindsay. This does seem strange. Seems more like the plot of an insane triad than a true curse. And how can we explain the dismal atmosphere at the bald hilltop? The pressure both of us felt there, Jard. Maybe the curse drove the poor triad insane, causing her to lead the spider invasion into the barony. In any case, I have alarming news. As soon as the spider invasion was over, I visited the bald hilltop again. A 
It's grown quiet once more and just as gloomy as before. I don't think the curse is broken, just laying low, like a monster that rests before it feeds again. What? Okay. I want to deal with this problem once and for all. What do you recommend? Yes, let's level the bald hilt up to the ground and put an end to the curse. I doubt we will be able to defeat it in such a straightforward fashion. The heart of the curse is undoubtedly centered on the bald hilltop, but the spiders appeared all throughout the barony. I don't think we are going to do any damage to the curse by destroying the hilltop. I would expect exactly the opposite. We'd only provoke it into attacking again, immediately on the heels of the last. No, the best we can do for now is make sure we are prepared for the next attack. Okay. Don't be such a pessimist, Christian. We might truly be able to overcome the curse, but only by studying it thoroughly. Your Grace, I will gather all the information available on this situation and get to work. Okay. How much time do we have? Oh, a fair amount. I'd say half a year or even more. Wow. Whoa, okay. That's a lot of time. <laughs> Damn. Now that the bald hilltop is quiet again, I can barely feel its evil will. I'm sure we will have enough time to prepare for, prepare for the next attack. Oh, okay. Well, let's prepare for the next attack. Go to sleep. Soon. Soon. I just returned home. I'm gonna take care of my kingdom. Gonna, I'm gonna make sure that everything is alright. Everyone's happy. And then, then I can go to bed. <laughs> Very wise. If only we knew more about the curse. We might figure out some way to fight it. I don't understand. I spoke to the locals. They never had any spider invasions before. And nothing ever happened on the bald, bald hilltop before either. Now both spiders and the curse, right when the new barony appeared in the stolen lands. All of this seems highly coincidental. I agree. Yeah, maybe it's someone trying to hurt me. <laughs> Pause at the game, mom. <laughs> yeah. Um. Okay. So. So anything else I want to do right now? Yeah, it's a ring of protection. I knew it. <laughs> um, yeah, I should give this stuff to the storyteller. But I might as well do that uh, tomorrow. Yeah.